Hello, and welcome to March's Tech of the Month. Welcome, guys. Classic season Hello. is upon us. Yes, Strata Bianchi soon. It is, and we have previewed it. Yes. Go check that video out. It is live on our YouTube channel right now. Okay, so let's get into it. Michelle, we'll kick off with you. What have you bought this month? So I have a Silka Ypsilon home kit. Ooh, it, it looks comes like in black this magic chocolate. It does look like a box yeah. of chocolates at the moment. So we have to sort of gradually slide. Oh, oh it's a it. travel chess set. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, it's, it's like much, much more fun. So this is the Birch presentation box with a magnetic Classy. clasp. So there we go. Okay, it's open. Ta da! So yeah, it comes from Silka who makes some really top end tools they're really well known for their amazing pumps but this is its y wrench for the home mechanic so here we go this is the tool what is exciting about it is that you've got your four mil bit you've got your five mil bit and then this looks like a humble six mil bit right yep. but it's not it is a quarter inch colette and you can take it off and you can replace it with any of the other bits in the box there we go. So I've got... Sounds like it's magnetic as well. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. It is magnetic. So I've got, um, so I've got my four, my five and my six. And then I've got all a load of Torx bits as well. So I've got T25, T30, T10, T15, T20. And then I've got extra hex bits as well from 1.5 up to three. And I've also got some screw bits as well with flathead screwdrivers. I have a question. <laughs> yeah. For you. Mm -hmm. It's not a tool wrap. So you can't take it out on the bike with you? No, it is a home tool kit not, set. You're not putting that in your back pocket? No, but no, neither do the is it a long handled set of keys. Yeah. So what is the benefit of a Y shaped tool? So yeah, you would want a long handle set when you really want to kind of apply a good amount of torque and you need um, more leverage. But the smaller kind of Y wrench is just, it's just more ergonomic. It's easier to grip. It's easier when you're getting into headset bolts as well. It's just better shaped really for those kind of little tricky jobs. It just feels nice, doesn't it? Yeah. The hand. Yeah. I mean, and you can you use your it? hand. And it's got like little, Ooh, it's little, lighter little than soft rubber bits. Yeah. And I noticed in the box, you've got some extra little holes here yeah. that you can fit if you've got your own other bits that you really want to have in your toolkit at home that don't come with it. You can just buy those separately and then shove them in as well. Yeah. That's very nice. Um, go on then. What's the damage? The damage is uh, 110 pounds. Um, so I'm kind of Mostly thinking... Mostly on the box. No. Uh, it's all about the precision made tools. Still no cigars. I mean, the better tools you have, the less chance you have of stripping out bolts. Do they, you said that they do a different version of this as well though, don't they? Mm -hmm. There is a version that comes in a cardboard box, which is your travel set, um, comes in a little bit cheaper. But yeah, you, there is that option if, um, if you don't want your birch box. And that gives you the same sort of tools. Yep, yeah, exactly the same tools. No Just wooden box. Yeah, no wooden box. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Well, that is a very classy tool set for the bespoke home mechanic. Exactly. That yes. wants for nothing. Very nice. Thank you, Michelle. Go. Okay, thank you. I'm going to jump in next with this. It's a saddle. I am excited by it's this. It's a saddle. So it's the new Specialized S-Works mirror saddle. We have seen a saddle like this before from yourself, James. Physique. On this very show from Tech of the Months. Yeah, on a Physique. Physique make a 3D printed saddle by the same company that 3D print specialized saddles. So it's Carbon, which are a Californian based company, mm. have a very impressive 3D printing system that allows such intricate webs and weaves of polymer to be put together. Um, and it's a very fascinating and quite attractive piece of kit. Yeah. It is. Is it, I mean, in what, so it's 3D printed and then does it conform to you as you ride? Is it something that's going I gonna... think 3D printing is uh, one way of making things, but this is something slightly different to the, like a standard 3D printing, isn't it? it is. And carbon do things in a very different sort of way. So the 3D printing technique allows the saddle to provide more support in certain areas. So um, it's like density is different across the saddle. So it's quite squishy at the front improving blood flow that specialists say to more sensitive areas mm -hmm. and it's firmer at the back um, where your sit bones are because you need sort of less support there. So the biggest benefit of the 3D printing technique is the fact that it's incredibly quick. Okay that was, that was one thing I was going to ask because it sounds like it's quite a complex mm -hmm. 
system, some complex construction, but if it's quite quick. Very quick. And that is why Specialized was so keen to partner with Carbon, who also make soles for Adidas running shoes, is they can print an upper in 30 minutes, which is when you think about how long it used to take to stitch a saddle upper together, you're probably talking days or at least a day. Printing an upper in half an hour is absolutely crazy. And that allowed them to sort of half or if not more, the prototype design stage of this. So they did, they produced this whole saddle in just 10 months, going through 70 iterations in that time because they could just print them so quickly. It will be available in two different widths. So the 100 classic 143 mil and 155 mil, which Specialized have always made their saddles in. Yes. And, and it looks a lot like a Specialized power saddle. Yeah, the back calf looks exactly the same, doesn't it? It's it also just... looks a lot like a Mimic, the women's well, it... range of saddles. I the back half that. again looks a lot like a Mimic. I absolutely love specialised saddles. So this shape is definitely my favourite. And what I found about this, because I've been riding this quite a lot, is you don't move around when you're on it. No. It locks you in place very well, makes you sort of more solid in your seating position so you don't move around on the bike as much. Now, having spoken to Specialized about this saddle, they were a little bit cagey on their answer to this question, but the general idea is that this will eventually let you get to a place where you can custom print saddles yeah. because the whole of Specialized bike operation is underpinned by their Retool Fit program, which has an enormous database on bike fits. There's no reason that in the future when this is a bit more accessible that you couldn't go in for a retail bike fit. They'd log your numbers in a database. You'd then go into a specialized concept store, potentially just get one 3D printed mm. on the day for yourself to walk away with. We don't know what that process would look like and they haven't said whether they're even close to that being available, but it seems to be a no brainer that that is where the end process of this is going. So we'll see what the future holds for this, the specialized S-Works Power Mirror Saddle. Now, James. Yes. What have you bought? Well, from one contact point to another, I have brought some new pedals. Ooh. Yes, these are the new Bontrager road pedals. It's not often you see new pedals, is no, it? No, no. And in a way, these are new because they're from Bontrager, which is not normally a company we associate with this style of components. So Bontrager obviously is Trek's component arm. So they've got two different models. They've got the Comp, which is this one here, which is the slightly cheaper version. That's that, that's a metal construction in terms of the body. And then they've got the Elite, which is their top end one. So what do the two RRP at? So what we have is we have 54.99 for the Comp road pedals and 84.99 for the Elite road pedals. So actually we've got some quite reasonable prices here, which is nice to see. Few little facts about them. They're not a brand new concept. So they use look cleat or a look style cleats. So we have the red and gray color schemes that you find on the look cleats. Nine degrees of float, so there's plenty of movement. So you can see how they might have shown that they're aiming it slightly at the entry level market there to give you that amount of like sort of freedom when you're in the pedals. Uh, this is probably the, the most interesting one, the, uh, the Elite version. So it's a composite body. So it's like a plastic reinforced body. And it kind of competes with Luke's Keo Max 2 pedal, which retails for a similar price. These are slightly lighter than the Luke versions. They say they weigh 250 grams a pair. I weighed them and they're about four grams over that. Adjustable cleat tension, yep. so really, really neat. Which is also um, available on the comp level as well. Yes, so on the comp level you have it there, you've yep. got the adjustable. So it's just your standard three millimeter Allen key bolt to adjust on there. And they've got a real neat high and low adjustment markings on there, which yeah. I know would like say the Shimano ones, even though you can do it, you never know which way you're going because it doesn't really have those markings mm -hmm. on it. It's just got the bar that goes up and down. In terms of the actual pedals themselves, or the spindles, we've got a steel or a chromally steel mm -hmm. spindle on the elites and sealed bearings as well. And by the looks of the collar on the outside, it does look like these can be serviced as well. So it looks similar to something that Shimano did use on some of their mountain bike pedals, but I think it's probably a tool that you can find. So that is my product for this month. Lovely, cool. thank you, James. And well, that 
perfectly sums up tech of the months this month. Three yeah. products there, three very interesting products. But now we must move on. And it is the giant Defy Advanced One, as you can see behind us here. One of the most popular bikes available. Ever. Um, ever, yeah. probably. Yeah, one of Giant's best-selling models, Giant being the biggest bike company in the world. So the Defy is, of course, Giant's endurance bike. Mm -hmm. So it is a more relaxed fit than their TCR, which is their racing bike. This is designed for long road rides. Um, so, and that shows itself in multiple ways on this bike. For example, you have the tall head tube. Yes. And that is a very tall head tube. So that is in the size large that we have here, that is 205 mil, that head tube length. So for an equivalent, this, this is a 56 centimeter equivalent bike, a 205 mil head tube is big. Yeah, so I have some numbers here. It's 190-ish on the Specialized Roubaix, and it's 185 uh, on the Scott Addict 10. Mm. Um, mm. And the Scott Addict 10, a bike I'm riding at the moment, feels quite tall. So mm. I think this will feel quite sizable. It's quite big, but it does bring advantages with it as well, doesn't it? So, you know, for a lot of riders that want the look of a bike in terms of like it being slammed and aggressive looking, it does mean you can have that look, but still have the benefit of that slightly taller front end. And steering is going to be a lot stiffer as well because you don't have to have all of the spaces and then you've got that extra sort of like flex that can come from that sort of style of setting your, setting your cockpit up Certainly. as well. Certainly. And the endurance um, dedication of this bike doesn't just play out in that head tube. It does have hallmarks of Giant's engineering philosophy stamped all over it. For example, the defuse seat post is a classic of the Giant range. It is designed to absorb road bumps a lot more, and that, that shows itself across Giant's other bikes as well. So it uses an advanced carbon composite frame as well. So it is a carbon, carbon frame, but it's Giant's frame design that allows it to absorb more road shocks as well. So it's a comfortable frame, Obviously, with the drop seat stays. Yeah, these are really thin, very, very slender really seat stays. That. Yeah, They're very flattened. And it has an enormous amount of clearance on this bike. So, as standard, this bike comes with 32 millimeter <laughs> tires, which wow. it has on there now. It can fit up to 35 mil without a problem because of the enormous amounts of clearance offered by both the disc brakes and also just the design of the stays and the fork. And does it come set up tubeless already, ready does, to go? It as does, yeah. as with all of Giant's carbon bikes, it's tubeless ready. You can see that from the valves. These come with Giant's PR2 wheels, set up tubeless as standard. Giant's Gavia Fondo 1 tyres. It's got a Giant saddle on it as well. Um, and yeah, It's normal sized. <laughs> Good one. Um, and it's finished off with a Shimano Ultegra group set in parts. Yes. Um, it is missing the crank set. Elephant comes, in the room there. Comes with a sort of Shimano non-branded chain set, Tiagra level. I believe. It's, in terms of shaping and the fact it's not like sort of the the hollow forged. It's a shame. I mean, it comes with all of the sort of the most important parts that you'd want. It comes with the uh, Ultegra derailleurs, Ultegra shifters, um, Ultegra hydraulic calipers. Doesn't come with Ultegra rotors, which is a big shame because they're, they're great, those Ultegra rotors. So there yeah. are a couple of areas that you would potentially upgrade this bike. Um, but I can tell you the RRP mm. for it. It is £2,199. Wow. So a couple of hundred quid over the two grand mark. Um, good, which puts it in price. sort of, you know, like a, it's a competitive bracket. The two grand bike mark is sort of a key area for most big brands. And the Defy obviously being one of the better known options yeah. out there. And like I say, I'll be getting to grips with this bike over the next months. And do keep your eyes peeled for a review coming in the next months or so, because we will be putting one up on our YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching. That's it for March's Tech of the Month. Thanks, guys. Some great products there. As ever, if you have enjoyed this video or if you have any products you'd like to see featured, then do let us know in the comments section below. And if you have liked this video, then please do like and subscribe to the Cycling Weekly YouTube channel. But we'll see you next time.
you know, it's it's a bit softer right underneath where your um, bum plates is what I was <laughs> going to call plates. them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the word I'm looking for is sit bones. <laughs> it's your tuberosities. It's your tuberosities, yeah. <laughs>